Hey guys, Erin Latimer here. I just got back from Florida. I spent like three days walking around the Wizarding World of Harry Potter with fellow word nerd Emma. I finally got to meet one of the word nerds, so Harry Potter word nerds. My brain was exploding from all the awesome. It was magical. And then I came back and I got a head cold. Not magical. Get ridium coldium. Maybe I'm doing the wrist motions wrong. Today is about inspiration, so I have to talk about the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Being totally immersed in somebody else's fantasy world is amazing. It sort of rekindles the imagination if you're in kind of a dead spot and refreshes your spring of ideas. In fact, I came home from Orlando with too many ideas. Let's see, I could do this one, the YA fantasy, or the middle grade one, or there's that really cool one about the tattoos I had. Or there's the giant squid one. That was a good one. They're all so shiny and new and every single one of them is better than my current work in progress. But that particular problem is a whole different video for a whole different day. Of course, if you're not Emma and you don't live right next to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you can't really just jump on a plane and go to Florida whenever you feel like you need more ideas. I mean, if I was rich, I would totally do that. The workers at Harry Potter World are just gonna come out one day and find me just like living in Gringotts or something. All right, folks, the tour is this way. Oh, don't mind this girl. She's crazy. She thinks Harry Potter is actually real, and she wants to live at the Three Broomsticks. I'll just sleep under the warm glow of the dragon at night. But even those of us who cannot just walk into Harry Potter world all the time, we can still read and immerse ourselves in someone else's fantasy world to sort of renew our store of ideas. That's why reading is so important, and it's way less expensive than going to Florida. Reading can still give you that completely immersive experience that you're seeking to sort of lose yourself in somebody else's fantasy world for a few days. In fact, I have so much on my to-read list right now, but I really want to go back and read all of the Harry Potter books again. Oh, you're still there. Sometimes when you're caught up in the middle of a work in progress, it's really easy to forget to put aside time to read. It's really one of the only ways to A, get better at writing, and B, continue to have fresh new ideas. Don't forget, on Sunday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, the Wordnerds are having our live chat, and we would love to see you there. Thanks for bearing with me, even though I can't pronounce certain words properly. I will see you next week. Also, Slytherin forever!